I have always wanted to make a video about apocalypse watches and 2020 seemed like a pretty good year as any to make that video with the events of 2020 hopefully in the rearview mirror now very soon I wanted to make a video on the ultimate end of world watch what would make a perfect zombie apocalypse watch well here are some of the rules that I came up with it needs to be rugged and made out of materials that can take a beating it can be a quartz or an automatic if you're choosing a quartz I want something with long battery life so something with at least 10 years plus of life solar powered would be a plus solar powered watches would work really well in this situation I think solar capacitors can last up to 10 to 20 years depending on usage of course considering some quartz watches have GPS this would seem useful in an apocalypse kind of situation. However, GPS eventually would stop working because GPS satellites need to be constantly adjusted. So eventually they would become useless. And I've actually looked up how long that would take and they say anywhere between two to five years, they would start to be inaccurate and then 10 years they would be completely defunct. So GPS really would not be helpful in the long term. Any automatic watch chosen would need to be very, very well made. And the movement would need to be robust because servicing isn't an option. Water resistance on any of these watches would need to be at least 100 meters. I would prefer 200 meters water resistance. Shock resistant, definitely. Legible, that is a must. Secondary timing, that would be a really good option as well. Maybe a rotating bezel or if it's a quartz watch, a timer. That would really, really be useful, obviously, in an end of world situation. Last but not least, it's gotta look badass. I want a watch on my wrist that looks good all the time. It doesn't matter. If it's the end of the world or Tuesday during 2021, I want a watch that looks really, really good on my wrist no matter what. So hopefully you haven't been eaten by a zombie or have succumbed to radiation poisoning or some sort of pandemic. We are now gonna head over to our local AD, who by the way, is no longer in business. However, you can now just walk in and choose any watch that you want. However, there's a lot of dead people around, so be very, very careful. So since our local AD is pretty much destroyed and we can just walk in and take any watch that we want, we're gonna start with an affordable watch. Yes, I said it, an affordable watch, $200. The G-Shock Mudman Compass G9300. Why am I choosing an affordable watch? Because I just am, I think it's the right thing to do. We're gonna feel bad about it later. Let's do it now, let's get it over with. Let's get a cheap watch. We'll get the expensive ones later on. But first and foremost, we need something that's gonna be able to tell the time very easily. And that is a Mudman, it is a G-Shock. At a glance, digital display really works well in a situation like this. This is also a solar watch. Yes, it's a solar watch. So you have the LED backlight, which is also solar powered. It's 50 millimeters by 51 millimeters, 19 millimeters thick, bad ass watch. It is big and bold, 200 meters water resistance. It has a world timer, 48 different cities. Yes, most of those cities don't exist anymore. However, you can tell the time in all 48 of them. And that is very, very cool. Something that's also very useful, it has a digital compass, a thermometer, and a moon graph. So you have to know when the zombies are gonna start going crazy. You don't wanna be out during a full moon. It has moon phase, awesome, awesome option. Digital compass, very good for navigating. And of course, a thermometer, very helpful in a post-apocalyptic situation really cool watch really badass looking really easy and legible of course so it really meets all the criteria that we need and watches like this have been reported to last up to 20 years on that solar capacitor depending on your usage more than likely you'll get at least 10 years from this daily wear and there you go and it also has a bunch of alarms five alarms i believe that is awesome Next on this list, we're gonna step it up a little bit. We're gonna go for something a little bit more expensive. This is the limited edition of 1000 pieces, the Tissot Seastar 1000 Professional. 
This is a limited edition of a thousand pieces, as I mentioned. It's a 48 millimeter watch, 300 meters water resistance. It's ISO certified, 6425. It is a really, really big watch, 48 millimeters, as I mentioned. It has the workhorse Valju movement in it, A05H21. It's built on that 7750, a watch movement that's been around for generations and it will work the long haul. It will stay in operation for as long as you need it without any surface. These are very, very reliable movements. Sapphire crystal, of course, huge bracelet on here, thick watch. Just an incredible, if, if a zombie attacks you, you could take off this watch and beat the zombie over the head and you will survive. This watch will help you. Of course, you have a chronograph and a dive time bezel on here, so you could definitely do a couple of different timings on it if you need to. Excellent option here, a really good looking watch, badass as I mentioned, blue fume dial on here and a, a really just a ceramic uh, bezel insert. So robust, this can really, really last a long time in a post-apocalyptic situation. Next on the list, of course, I have a watch that I actually own. This is the Gigi Lecoultre Master Compressor Extreme Navy Seals Diving Chronograph GMT. Yes, a very, very long name for a very incredible watch. This is a watch that's been tested by and worn by the Navy Seals. So they actually used these watches in the field, tested them for JLC. These are made out of grade five titanium. They're 45 millimeters uh, in width, and they have a thickness of around 17 millimeters. Huge watches, very, very robust, incredibly made watches. And of course, these retail for around $15,000. However, since we're walking into the AD and no one's around, we're just gonna take one. This comes with the Caliber JLC 757, a really tried and true movement, automatic winding, of course. These are movements that have actually been used in way higher end watches. However, this is the maker. JLC make this movement. This is an in-house movement to them, so this is a completely in-house watch. However, the movement has been around for generations. It is tried and true, as I mentioned, so no worries with this watch. It will be reliable through the duration. So next on the list, we have a watch that has a waiting list currently, but perhaps after the apocalypse, there will be a slightly less longer waiting list. That is the Rolex Submariner. I also put an honorable mention in here, that's the Rolex Explorer, but I would go with the Rolex Submariner first only because there is currently a wait list and after the apocalypse, hopefully that wait list will be a lot shorter or completely burned up in the post-apocalyptic world. But who knows, the uh, zombies may be on the waiting list as well, so that waiting list may be a issue still, but barring all of that, Hopefully there is no waiting list and we can walk into an AD. If they have one in the showcase, we're gonna take it. Uh, more than likely they won't though, but let's just pretend. Here we are, the Rolex Submariner. Why is this a good post-apocalyptic watch? Why is this good for the zombie apocalypse? Well, I'm gonna tell you. It's all stainless steel, it's extremely well made, and I have spoken to a lot of people who own Rolex Submariners, and some of them have never had them serviced. Literally never serviced. 20, 30 years, 40 years, never serviced, worn them every single day. They're extremely, extremely reliable. Very, very legible. You could see them in the dark, very good loom. And of course, it's a Rolex Submariner. It's badass. It's a really cool watch. And like I said, they're reliable. They're really well made. And you also have that dive time bezel. So you can use that for timing certain things. And they are really, really just well-made watches that will last at least 10 years. And you probably won't last that long. So why not? Very, very good watch. Next on my list, if the Rolex Submariner is not available in that display case, which it may not be, is the Omega Planet Ocean 600 meter. That's the coaxial movement. Uh, the 8500. It's the watch that I own. I love this watch. It's a robust watch, but if it's the apocalypse, we're just going to walk into the AD and grab one. And in this situation, I would grab the stainless steel version 
basically the one that I have because I think it's the most straightforward watch. Very legible, the loom isn't great, but it's 600 meters water resistance. Again, you get that dive time bezel. It's made incredibly, it's 45 millimeters. You could take it off and knock a zombie over the head again with this watch and it will save your life. It's an incredibly big watch. It's a really good looking watch. Um, what can I say? What more can I say about the Omega Planet Ocean? Uh, just an awesome watch and it's very reliable. That uh, 8500, I have not had an issue with that watch and I've had it for about eight or nine years. Never serviced, great watch. Next on the list, I have a Seiko and that's the SKA371P2. It's a Prospex 200 meter dive watch, but it's a kinetic watch with a power reserve. This is something that actually would be very, very useful. Of course, it's kinetic, so this could last for up to 10 years on that capacitor. It gets a hard lex. It's 300 bucks thereabout on uh, Amazon or eBay, depending on where you're looking. 42 millimeters. It's almost like the SKX, but not. It looks really good, very similar to the K SKX, but you're getting that extra little power reserve. And of course, that movement, that kinetic movement will last for 10 years. Uh, you could put it down if you get sick uh, and you're not sure if you have uh, the uh, zombie flu and you want to put down your watch. You're not going to lose the time. You're not going to lose the exact time. Uh, eventually, it will run out and it'll be, take about 20 days. But if you're sick for 20 days in a post-apocalyptic situation, you're probably going to die anyway. Next on the list is the SKX. I put the SKX through a whole bunch of tests. And I have to say, for three or 400 bucks, it is an incredibly durable watch. All of these watches are durable, but I can actually personally attest to the fact that the SKX is incredibly durable. You're getting a very simple movement in it. It's the 7S movement. It does not hack. Uh, it does not hand wind. However, this gets a hard lex, but it goes through the ringer and it comes out the other end ticking and that's really all that matters. I froze it, I boiled it, I dropped it on all different surfaces. I put it in bleach, I put it in sugar, I put it in salt. I did a, a bake test on it. I did a whole bunch of tests on it and it survived. I then retired the watch and it, it looks awesome. It looks like it went through the apocalypse and I could tell you it can survive the apocalypse. Again, another affordable watch, and this is an incredible watch. Both of those Seikos are really, really cool. Very shock resistant as well, so no issues there. Robust, reliable, and rugged, and badass in my opinion. Last but not least is another quartz watch. The only watch on my list that does not have a secondary timing capability. So no rotating bezel. So this may not work in the apocalypse, as good as the other watches that I listed here. However, it is the A5S Ballista from Bertucci. And this gets a 10 year battery. It's built like a tank. It weighs a pound. It's, it's insane how much this watch actually weighs. It has an incredible, incredible strap on it that feels like it is a millimeter thick or two millimeters thick. It has tritium tubes. It also has BGW-9 on the dial. It's super legible at night and it's super legible during the day. So this is one of the most legible watches on this list. It's the only watch with tritium tubes and that is super duper helpful, especially at night when it's super dark out, when your loom is no longer holding a charge. This watch has those tritium tubes and they will last for 25 years, 10 years on that battery life. Just an incredible watch. It's huge. It's like 46 millimeters, but the lug to lug is incredibly huge on it. Uh, just a really big watch. You could take it off again. You could hammer nail into a piece of wood with it. It's insane. Just a tank of a watch. And again, a very badass watch. So really that's my list in a zombie apocalypse or post apocalyptic world. I would walk to my local AD and I would just walk right in and I would grab up most of these watches. I would probably grab a bunch of uh, Patek Philippe's as well uh, and some APs and Vacherons and a, probably a bunch of other watches. I'd probably take all the watches, I'm gonna be honest with you, and take them all back to my bunker, sit around and look at all my watches and I would be perfectly happy. However, in this situation, these are some of the best watches that I think you can get that are really, really reliable, rugged, 
and badass, and I, I would definitely reach for these in a uh, apocalyptic situation. But tell me what you think are there watches that I missed. They're definitely watches that I missed. However, I came up with some specific rules, and I think all of these watches fit the rules that I chose. Uh, I wanted to give you some different price points. There are tons of watches out there that'll fit the bill. I think tons of dive watches. However, I just chose some of my favorites. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Give me some suggestions on this list. Maybe we'll do a part two. I love this topic. When I buy a watch, I always think about this when I'm buying a watch, and that's kind of why I gravitate towards very robust dive watches. There you go. Uh, anyway, tell me what you think in the comments below. I really want to hear from you guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. It's super helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.